Waves 2, continuing Spain. Will it war? Austria? On the last battle, ran away from a destroyer battle and let's see where we're at. Got our new battleships built. Probably build some more submarines. Building some more destroyers and some more corvettes. I think we're good to build up our cash a little bit. This war ends. Our budget's going to get crazy, so we'll Battleship engagement. Five of ours versus 11 of theirs. Hopefully they all make it. Interesting. All right, so we've got a heavy cruiser lead. And then we've got our four of our battleships, and it's like one, one separate one. So all five of our battleships are involved with this, and I wonder if uh, said some it said some ships from Italy, but ah, there we go, some Italian destroyers. I guess that's helpful. Probably some more Italian destroyers. Spanish again. All right, well, this is a battleship fight, but it's going to be the uh, march of this, uh, yeah, the march of the Spanish destroyers here. I think it's going to, if they meet us with 10, five, 10 to 5. Right near Barcelona, so we've got an easy uh, escape route, which is good. Our folks are sorted out. Well, uh, search line. The Austrians had to come pretty far, so they're probably limited in their destroyer. We don't have an objective, so the objective is fight their fleet. We've got a, the islands down here, Palma, so we've got a second location to go to port two, which is nice. It's just a stately. Afternoon on the I guess it probably helps if I take that down so you watch what we're doing here. All right, unknown chip sighted. Start our turn towards them, but. Like to get the win in our favor. That's going to be a, a heavy cruiser lead section, I'm sure. We should push off my light cruisers. Right now, the Gallica is getting very uh, risky. That's what that is. They want to mix with our just battleships. I'm fine with that. I suspect they'll probably uh, slide back. That's probably their battle line here. <laughs> Mind if, uh, let's see what's, what we've got here. Two 9-inch guns, 5.5 inches of belt, so that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, we don't mind our heavy cruisers. Fighting those. We're 8 inch guns, but double the firepower. Got a little bit heavier armor. I think it's I think that's worth a battle we can do. So I'm gonna let the AI continue there. I still want to get south of their battle line for the wind, so they're coming for us, our cruisers. A bolter to the left and fight their cruisers, which is fine. That's a nice AI fight. All right, looks like they've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they're. I think we can outshoot these guys. They're eight inches of armor, nine or ten inch guns. They're just not. That potent. I don't know what the last few. All right, and take our battle line a little quicker here. Let them close. I don't know why they're running, but we'll let that play out. We can't can control everything, but sometimes it's best to let things just happen. All right, we've got five battleships. They definitely have more. They do have the speed on us, which does let them control the engagement a little. It'll help them when they go to run away. Which will be soon after we start engaging. All right, first shots are fired. And there they go. Didn't take long. Bye bye, Austria. Closing again. The throw weight, they're definitely th about triple the number of guns, but we're throwing 13 inch shells, they're throwing 10 inch. Just got to get some hits. So far, their gunnery is better. All right, we can see these destroyers coming. Vito run. So we wiggle away from that. And that's it. They're going to run now. All right, over here we push their cruisers away. Taking some light damage. Yep, they're getting ready to run. Let's see.
to see what the other the Franz Ferdinand class. Ten inch guns, eight inch deck. Nine inch guns, eight inch deck. Look at that thing, the three nine inch guns one. I'd like to sink that little puppy. It's just so funny. Eight inch belts. Yeah, they're in mean, a lot of S class, nine inch guns, eight inch decks. going on boy I swear it's so slow uh engine room hit that's what it was okay took an end so they're still in the fight but just a little let that AI fight continue up there and then last Getting some hits would be better than not getting hits here. Got somebody got an eight inch hit over there. Destroyers make another for possibly another. So we'll wiggle again. Close the range. All right, looks like our uh, engine room hit got their speed back there. We join. Is our battle still under control there? They're closing in slightly, but. What's going on? Ah, uh, bridge damaged. Okay. Oh, we'll keep back in line. Back will end of the Our, our gunnery is just not just not making the grade here. One percent chance to hit. Yeah, I fifty one hundred yards are so our guns at fifty are going through. We're going through their armor. At this distance, they're not going through our armor at ours, so it's a good range to fight. It's just that, uh... Oh, what's he... Oh, he's got... He... That's what it is. He's got the, the funny, uh, eight-inch secondaries. That's why I'm seeing these 8-inch hits. At 5,000 yards, they're only going 5, 
five inches, so they're not penetrating, not panning at that distance, but causing superstructure issues. Got the wind in our favor, that should help us. Try to cut our nose again, that's fine. Go a little closer, there comes some the destroyers trying to turn us off. Alright, and back. See that three gun ship getting separated here. Potential exists to separate him. I think we need to. Uh, I think we got the better 13-inch guns. I think it's time to do a gun upgrade. This fellow's slowing down. You know, let's do it. Time to split off the week. Doesn't want any of that. Yep. Ganging up is the name of the naval game. We'll just keep out of way of those destroyers. I like a five on two a lot better. Oh, here's a knight. The rest of their fleet is far enough away. Might be able to close in on their heavy crew as well. They are not liking this. They're definitely not liking this. All right, so not much better chance to hit, but we're 3,300 yards. So our six-inch guns are getting close to penetrating them. Our eight-inch guns at 3,300 yards, so we don't is almost penetrating as well. So this is getting to be a bad deal for them. Bring some destroyers up here, maybe a little early. Let's see if they... They're going to split off. Destroy.
All right, let's see if we can get the Alva to fire some torpedoes before she sinks. Oh, just out of arc. I don't know why. Shouldn't be out of arc, but okay. I don't know why that's out of arc. It sure doesn't look like it to me. All right, now that's, this makes no sense. This is AI cheating at its highest. Out of arc, out of arc, out of arc. It's the right in arc, not out of arc. What's going on up here? They're still beating on M. There goes another one. That these are deadly. One left. Oh, and a miss. Very dangerous game. All right, the little guy is on. Let's put out the launch torpedoes symbol. Oh, their heavy cruisers are getting right in the mix. I love this. Ship in a line of fire. Let me show. All right, there we go. Please don't miss this time. Got them once. May have enough to get one. Nope. That was a bad shot, but getting our job done. There we go. But it did cost us, as we expected, it did cost us some potatoes.
but they're about to go our way. That guy's in fairly bad condition. Go back and get the other one. Like a class destroy something. All right, he's right by our sunk ship, very slowly. That's his other battleship. It's two. That's him. Go, 13 inch gun hit, that was nice. Yes, turn back. We'd like to go that way too. Heavy cruisers are taking a beating here. Crazy night fight. That's probably a uh, at this craziness. You shoot at him. Those destroyers will go. You know. Right, that is a light cruiser or heavy cruiser. That means the uh, battleship went the other way. Got to get another hit or two and get him to slow down. Did lose some destroyers, which we expected. I th gotta say that 
one battleship that took all the torpedoes is going to go down. Slow to and we'll keep searching. But I think that's going to be it. I think it's time to go home to Barcelona. Let's see if we get sorted out. Maybe we find something on the way in. I don't know. I hope, like I say, I hope we got that one ship. That would be nice to get that thing. But we'll see. Sun comes back up. Hard night of fighting. Our intrepid sailors return to Barcelona. Ah, and we torpedoed a heavy cruiser. That was nice. All right, we lost four destroyers, almost a fifth one. But we did kill that battleship, and a submarine killed that heavy cruiser. That should help us out. They did have 11 battleships in the fleet. That was a good one. Good fight. And they wound up, okay, they went back up that way towards Italy. Okay, gained another prestige. Battle of Mallorca. Ah. Uh, all right, we don't. We do want to end this war. We don't want to. Uh, these terms sound good. Right. Our sand getting large territories and considerable war reparations. We have four. We could get Dalmatia. We're already in. Um, we're already in the Med, so we might as well take it. It's going to make them want to take it back. Fleet tactics, very nice. All right, let's take a look at that. I know we weren't trying to take too much space, but uh, let's reserve all. So now we've got a little base. This actually would help us as we go forward if we wound up fighting Austria-Hungary or fighting Italy again. Having a, a base in there is nothing but good. So we will improve the base. And let's build some... Six inch coastal batteries. Let's take a look at what we can do for. I don't think we can build a BB yet. Not really. We don't have better 13 inch guns yet either. Okay. That's right, we got the good. Ele the quality zero 11 inch guns for a possible battle cruiser. Italy and Austria are still pretty powerful. We knocked Austria down by one. All right, now we can start making some money. Yes, we'll break out the uh, the pork and uh, the the wine, and we'll have a nice celebration for.
Unrest level's low. Very nice. I'd like to get some tech before we build another ship. Continue to build the docks. Add four more destroyers to replace the four that we lost. Plus, we are have the build going on. Oh, you know, let's see if we can take these two guys off of certain station now. because we do have he's back repaired so we should be able to take them off of Torpedoes are getting better. That's good. 14-inch quality minus one guns. Okay, well, maybe we'll skip the 13-inch and go to 14-inch. I like that. Uh, I also like that idea of the big gun fleet. We just like, uh, we keep going bigger and bigger guns. Couple more turns, we're gonna have to start building something. Let's let's see what kind of we can do anything better on our light cruisers. So I like the gun arrangement of these, um, but I'd like to get 23, 24 knots. Let's see what the AI says. 23 knots. Those are 5,000 ton. If we went up to 6,000 ton, could we get a 3-inch belt? We could. 3-inch turrets. 2-inch tops. Medium. Normal. Normal. Oh, that's right. We do have torpedo defense 1, so remember we got that. That's going to be good for our other ships. Add a couple of three inch guns. I like this, the improved fleet cruiser, and we can let our other cruisers going on to uh we can let them go to uh Yep, I will be right back after a minute.
All right, sorry about that. My dog had to go outside or pee on the floor. So I figured outside was better. <laughs> the Rata class BC. Oh, we want to do another. <laughs> I think it might be too early for a, a battle cruiser, but let's take a look. Let's see what it says. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty similar. We don't have any other, uh, we don't have any turret research yet. I, th I think it's just too early. It's 1906, really, uh, um, just because of our, t our tech, we just don't have what we need yet. That's... That's a very expensive ship with only six inches of armor. I could get maybe eight. Now we're going to have to... There's just too many compromises at this point for this. Let's put two or three on the secondaries. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now that is that is too true. Build it, start it, the design at least, so that it, then we'll get uh yeah we'll get superimposed X turret the the aft turret or something. We'll uh we'll make it happen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off this time. I uh I do agree with what might happen, but we're gonna hold off. Okay. February nineteen oh six. I'm up to twenty prestige, new record for uh this try to stay out of war game. <laughs> Process some turns, some corvettes. Are uh, those new light cruisers? Can't afford to build four of them, so we'll do two at a time. All right, why are these three dudes in the Caribbean? I don't know. I think I'll build a couple more of the Dorado. Uh, let's see. Show the older design. So Dorado Foreign Service Corvette. We'll build two or more of those as well. see it's going to be time to start working on obsolete sh ships here pretty soon so let's take a look at uh 13 inch minus two maximum range 11 14 at 11,000 yards, they go through 6 inches of armor. 5,000, they go through 8.3. 14-inch guns, just looking at the gun data. <coughs> Less, better quality by, you know, still not good quality, but better quality. They go through 10 inches at 5,000 yards. And at 11,000, they're still going through 8 inches. So that, cut, that 8 inches at 11,000 yards cuts through any of the Austrian ships we've seen so far. So we're not going to retrofit, but I think our next battleship design will be 14-inch guns. Maybe build some subs. Four more of those. Yeah, we got it. We're, we're about to lose money. I got to build something big. I really do. Okay. 
I don't think we can build battleships. Let's see what it says. It's yeah, it just makes a regular battleship. This is a funny ship. Let's go to a 20,000 ton ship. Go to 14 inch guns. I really don't like the 7 inch. I'm going to go back to 6 inch. Let's even see if that's legal. No. Okay, so we're going to put those in casemates instead of turrets. 23 inch guns. That's pretty funny. That really covers any uh, close. Close firing. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's get the belt up to 12. The turrets up to 12. Secondary is to 3. Can we do 20 knots? 21 knots? Now there we go. Now there's a significant upgrade. Hundred five rounds per gun. Eighteen six inch guns. It's probably uh maximum thirty four, that's what I thought. Okay, so that has to drop to sixteen. Still got some weight left. Not enough to up anything else. Maybe another normal, normal, medium. All right, maybe another 110 rounds per gun. You really don't, with the 14-inch guns, you don't need, their, their rate of fire is slower, so you don't need as much. I don't know if we can get 12.5 on the turrets. 13. Uh, I don't want to get a... I don't like a zero there. 80's a lot, but we're... <clears throat> we want to leave a little for... Well, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go 13-inch turrets. Take a look at that gun data again. Okay, so we're... We're immune. Our belt is immune all... All the way. That's pretty good. That's a decent. That's a decent ship. All right. Double the cost of our previous ones, but let's start doing that. Two Corvettes are commissioned. Improving national resources gives us a little more budget. That's good. They're going to take it pretty soon. We got to be careful with this. Uh, yes, we need to buy this because we need to reduce our money. Okay, better AP projectiles. The uh, Alejandro is ready. Okay, we are going to build two of those. And in about 15 months or so we're going to build add a couple more we don't mind them the minus here we're right at our limit budget wise france is starting to get a little angry oh but now they want to sell us hull technology hull construction technology which will give us a uh reduce hp requirements oh and <clears throat> there it is like you said steam turbines so that's a huge weight savings on machinery uh, so now if we went to design a basically the same ship let's see if we open a design 148 tons available so that's that's pretty big that's from that one percent savings all right not battle cruiser yet but close <laughs> British government is going to sell us 
armor quality control, we will take it. Another weight savings on hull. All right, we're it's telling me battle cruiser is what's happening. Round of fighting is broken out in the Balkans. What is your view? It is deplorable that it seems impossible to stop the fighting. I wonder what they're serving for dinner at the officer's mess. That's what I want. We don't we don't really want to fight anybody. Counter intelligence is believed Germany has stolen hull technology from us. Ah, uh, I can afford to let Germany go up once, so we should make them a little angry. Not too much, but a little. Got our other destroyers. New docks are done. Hawkish government wants to raise armament expenditure. This will ensure safety of our nation, but it's budget plus tension, or budget and a little tension, or lose prestige. I uh, we're not critical, but we're heading that way. All right, let's go with a little bit of tension. All right, Germany is the one that's. Unhappy there. We actually, that budget increase got, got us positive again. Let's take a look at the Almanac just to see. Germany's budget's almost double than ours. They got 4x, I'm sorry, two, 3x battleships. And more than everything else. Oof. We just don't. All right, I got to spend prestige. I don't want to fight them. I can't afford to fight them. Okay, better range for coastal submarines. That's a good sign. France is getting really torqued off. France appears to be considering a naval rearmament program. How should we react? We can complain at the next disarmament conference. Three centerline turrets. All right, there we go. Now we will do the battle, the uh, battle cruiser design that you were looking for. It's It's interesting. All right, wait, let me go to this so I can see what the cost of our... All right, now that's ugly. I'm going to redo it because I just didn't like the design of the... I like the three turrets. There we go. All right, that one's reasonable. But the, the design of the, the ship itself was kind of ugly. All right. 20,000 ton, 24 knots for 2,200. Let's shoot for 25 knots. I think we can do that. Move the secondaries down to three. Are uh, we really going to have to work a little more on that? So we need... Got to have 12-inch turrets. Conning tower down to 9. like to get a 10-inch belt. Not sure that our shipbuilding industry can quite do that. No, not quite. That's our max right there. All right, something's going to have to go. And that busted our cost up pretty good. Let's see.
Drop it to a two inch deck. That gets us there. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Out to protection after 9,000 yards. Let's. All right, so we're going to really be fighting 9 inch and 10 inch gun ships. So they. Yeah, we're. For 9 inch guns, we're, we're above it. 10 inch guns. Yeah, we're still. Okay, I think that we can do that then. Or we go put the 11-inch guns on. And add and go for a lot more speed, maybe. Twenty six knots. And then drop the weight down till we get somewhere around there. I mean, that's that's a potent battle cruiser fighting other cruisers. It's got better armor, better armament, and it's faster. It's got plenty of speed to evade battleships, and <clears throat> we got the cost down by dropping the uh, turrets. I like that. All right. Let's see what we say. Do we want to armor the turrets that heavy? That's a good point. Eleven inch turrets, ten and a half inches of belt. I like it. It's an interesting design. And we're saving a little money here. Okay. German government wants to sell us explosive shells. Yes, of course, we'll take that. Scientists are suffering a setback figuring out small tube boilers. That's all right. But we're improving our, tech, our torpedoes. It's also good. I think I'm going to add gunnery, which will increase the cost of training. A spy from the Middle East has been uh, discovered. We should definitely handle it quietly because they're our friends. Counterintelligence believes Austria-Hungary has stolen technology from us. All right. They're trying to drag me into another war with them. I don't want to, but okay. Commission four submarines. Spy from Germany. Handle it quietly. Battlecruiser is ready. We're going to build two of those. And the second one we'll rename. I think the Weasel de Aragon. All right, I like those ships. I like where we're going with this. We already had fairly quick fleet. We're just making it faster. All right, so where are we at under construction? Like to go another year before we got into a war if we could, that would be better. 
definitely our budget is in pain right now. During maneuvers, one of our ships opened fire on a fishing boat from the U.S., sinking the boat and killing several fishermen. Now oh, they were fishing in a restricted area, taking our camarones. I've got to build attention a little to cover my budget. Oof, we're getting... Give four more months. New docks are completed. The Corvettes, improved hull construction, better range finding, building new docks, we can go three months, two Corvettes are commissioned, those aren't really helping that much. Yeah, okay, so those, those two light cruisers, that'll help, that'll get us close. A spy from the U.S., let's... Denounce the aggressive policies of the U.S. Proved annealing, better armor. All right, we go one more turn. You know what? I'm going to halt one of the battle cruisers just because we really can't afford to go too far. All right. The new uh, gunnery, the gunnery training is taking place, and we've Civilians have increased our dock side. German government is selling us wants to sell us ASW a technology. We will take it. We are going to have to halt something else. Our two cruisers are commissioned and now we can make better destroyers. All right, let's unhalt that. Let's get rid of our 500 ton destroyers. Hardly worth it, but at least it's saving us a little money. It is definitely time, though, to design a 600-ton destroyer. All right. Third, basically, all right, well, let's uncramp them. See if that gives us a crowded center line. Yet yeah, too many center line guns and torpedo mounts. So we just got to get rid of that midships turret. See if that's okay. What if we got rid of those? Could we push it to five inch guns? And a couple of three inch guns. I think we can do that. Thing is, got. Putting five inch guns on it means it's now potent against light cruisers, or at least can punch light cruisers, which before it couldn't. Three torpedoes. All right, I like that ship. We'll accept that slightly lower rate of fire. Got to build up some funds here. Build four of those. Can't get Torpedo Protection 2 yet, but that's all right. New cruiser from Italy has just arrived on a Goodwill visit, and the press is eagerly reporting all of its advanced features. A reporter approaches you for comment. What do you say? Don't want to... Uh... Is a nice ship, but ours is just as good. I could get money and uh, lose prestige by saying we don't know how to build, don't have a ship like that, ask the politicians. No, I'm just going to be neutral. Italy's 
an ally. We don't want to cause any ruckus. German government wants to sell us small tube boilers. Yep, we were baffled by them, so we might as well buy them. 1% savings, weight savings, AP, better AP, and less signaling errors. These are all good things. It's 1908. I can't afford to turn All right, what we're going to do is halt one of the battleships a little bit. Industrial production is soaring as new methods are introduced. Our, it, our agreement with Italy has expired. That's too bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just, we just bit off a tiny bit more than we can chew here. That's all. USA has laid down a, BB, a BC of the Saratoga class. I'd love to see that. Let's put a little spying in on them. Germans want to sell us superimposed X turrets. Yes, we will buy them. Excellent. We now have oil firing. Oh my god. So, completely changes uh, our design philosophy. Gives us a lot. So, let's just take a look at the weasel. We now, with the uh, upgrades we've got, we've got 400 tons available. If we went to oil, it would be 500 tons available, which gets us basically another half inch of belt, another inch of belt, yeah, or potentially another knot of speed, yeah, or another knot of speed. Wow, okay can't afford it right now we need to keep an eye on costs the docks are complete Germans want to sell us can we afford it oh, we cannot afford it yes let's buy it go into deficit for just a second 15 inch quality one guns quality minus one guns all right it's I just want to see now if we design a ship can we make a dreadnought we'd use oil Let's go 25,000 tons, 15 inch guns, 3 inch or less secondaries, easily get 12 inches of turret, easily get 21 knots. Is there anything else we want? More ammo? Tertiaries. Normal, medium, normal. Oh, torpedo defense. That's where, yep, that's what was going on. Okay. That's a pretty nice ship that we can't afford to build yet. <laughs> We'd really like to. Government is concerned about tension leading to war. We should call an international armament disarmament conference. Let's see. Uh-oh. No ships of more than 15,000 tons may be built, and main caliber guns are restricted to 10 inches. Oh, there we go. Scrapped all of our ships, but look at the, look at what Germany scrapped. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine ships. We're going to scrap four, it looks like. Austria Hungary scrapped one, two, three. Great Britain scrapped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Italy scrapped four. France four. USA four. Oh, that was so mean. <laughs> Plenty of money available now. All right, so maximum was, uh, I don't remember where you can tell what the treaty is, but I thought it was 10 inches. Oh, my God, that was, what a waste of money that was. Let's look at the almanac now, though. Only Great Britain was able to get any battleships in the U.S. in service. Germany got a couple battle cruisers. We're still in a bad way. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can build under treaty restrictions. I don't think that's legal. Can't build larger than 10 inch guns. Wait, let's see what I see. I really wish that treaty was 11-inch guns. I thought we were gonna, thought we were gonna sneak by on that. I think it was 15,000 tons. Let's see what we can do with a battle cruiser. At 15,000 tons, normal, medium, normal. Oof. 10-inch guns. It's a, uh, there's just, yeah, it makes these really oddball designs. Uh, Got to get faster. All right, 10 inch. 10 inch guns we do 7 inch penetration so we need 7 and a half 8 on the turrets that's fine two inch secondaries oh let's go oil Where can we find some conning tower? Go to eight. I really don't like it. It's, I'd rather build this. Oh, and that's without torpedo protection. Oof. Yeah, that's really tough. Main battery wing turrets. Okay. Still having trouble with torpedo protection. All right, we've got plenty. Of, that's right, plenty of budget now because we just can't build anything. We'll let it build up a little. Great Britain is hosting an international regatta. Should we go for the win? Or, no, let's make sure we finish behind. We want to reduce tension. Only Austria is still pissed at us. Submarines are getting better, so I guess... <clears throat> We should build, if we can't build anything else, let's just build a ton of subs. Great Britain is sounding us out about an alliance. I 
think that's a good idea, isn't it? Together we can safeguard our interests. Treaty is negotiated, especially since there's no uh, there's no fighting for well can't build any reasonable ships for another 127 months. Now you can the treaty ends if anyone gets in a war, but like we started, our goal is to not start any wars. That's what we started this premise on. So. So I can't start a war just to make things easier on myself. Economizer. We'll buy technology from the French, who used to hate us. Getting pretty far along here. What? I gotta build something. All right, wait. Let's take a look at it. So we can't even build these battleships anymore. We can build these cruisers. Let's build a couple more of those uh, light cruisers. And then we'll consider I'd like to make a fast armored cruiser. I don't think we have cross deck fire. Oh no, that's right. That was our special. Uh, that was our special ability. We started with that. That's right. Medium, normal, normal. Switch to oil. Ten inch. To, oh my God, this ship is almost. It's it's better than that battle cruiser. <laughs> we were building a little too heavy though. I think it's illegal. Wait, we have no access to oil. Oh, we can't build oil ships. Oh, boy. Okay. That's part of the problem. If we went to 8-inch guns... ...27 knots... ...3-inch secondaries... At least 105 rounds per gun. I really want 6 inch tertiary or secondaries. Eight inch turrets. Two inch turret tops, that's probably not going to help too much. Two inch secondaries, that's where we're going to get it. Yep, yeah, okay. So we go to back to two and a half. Can't quite get two inches on the deck extended. Oh, it's too heavy though. Okay, we're going to lose 10% rate of fire, but they fire faster anyway, and we've got better. It's a very unusual design. Let's see if we can build it, yeah. 
It's a treaty cruiser. Uh, do we want to... No, we don't want to get Norway. That doesn't help us. During training exercise, an unidentified submarine has torpedoed and sunk one of our destroyers. There are no clues who might be behind this underhanded act. The Hawk Party is demanding resolute action. We should take it to the court in ha The Hague. Sink unidentified submarines, or we tell you who. Nope. Oh, even if, no matter what, the tension goes up. Or we can choose who it goes up with. Now, I'm going to I'm going to spend that prestige and try to keep us out of war. German government wants to sell us superimposed B turrets. It's beautiful. This now lets us build really nice Those are pretty expensive, a bit more expensive than our uh, more expensive than our uh, the battleships, or just about the same as the battleships we were building before. Let's see. All right, we've got four more of these fellas for foreign station. So we can bring four of those back. Recent industrialization has improved our budget and British government is selling us four centerline turrets oh my god this is going to be crazy once we come out of this once we come out of this uh, treaty we're going to be able to build some crazy ships let's just see what it would show us now okay that's because that's the treaty requirement these these funky <laughs> Clear all turrets. Yep, yeah, let's do that. 15 inch. That's what we could build. I mean, not. Uh, obviously, we'd have to go. See our last ones. They were going to be twenty thousand. So let's go twenty-two thousand. Maybe we're going to go more. All right. Well, drop that armor to twelve. Conning tower down to about ten. Secondaries down to three. Two. That's just to give you an idea of a ship we could build, something like that. That's pretty crazy. All right. This is going to be interesting when we come out of, uh, if we can get all the way through. Eccentric scientists of doubtful repute offers to sell us his latest invention in hull construction for 800 how gullible does he think we are? Send this charlatan away, or one never knows. It might revolutionize naval warfare. Let's buy it and test it out. It's cheap. Our top spy has managed to get a hold of the blueprint blueprints for the German ship Koln, currently under construction. Interesting. Similar to the... Oh. 
25 knots, 4 10 inch guns, 14 8 inch, 12 4 inch, 6 inch belt. And the ones we're building, basically an 8 8 gun broadside, 27 knots, uh, and but 8 inch turrets and 8 inch belt. That's an interesting. I think it would be a fun fight. Prime Minister expresses his concern that our forces in the Mediterranean are insufficient considering the threat of Austria Hungary. Okay, we got a current strain is 86. We got to add somebody else. With the threat rising, we get extra money. I don't I don't want it. There's a rebellion in Eritrea. We should not involve ourselves in this. Should help Italy root out the rebels. Okay. Italy's our friend. Uh, let's see. What do we have in this area? We have two battleships, three. All right, let's move a heavy cruiser from Northern Europe down to the Med. Better accuracy. New docks are completed. The invention of the eccentric scientist has proven to be considerable value to our research in hull construction. Okay. A sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty as well as cutbacks in military spending. We're asked on how to handle the situation. Any further cuts, Navy budget, are unacceptable. Maybe the charities could institute some kind of relief. The government should consider social reforms to care for the unemployed. Oof. All right, either budget goes down and prestige and tension go up. I really can't afford tension going up, but I'd like the prestige. I have to take the budget hit. Italy has crushed the rebels. That's good. We helped them out. That should make them happy. Can't build that much. Intelligence has reports that Austria is a majority of their heavy ships in active status. What should we do? I think they're probably just conducting maneuvers. Don't fret about it. Commission six more submarines. That's good. Our scientists are well under on the way to understanding anti-submarine mines. Wonderful. Got we're halfway through that uh, treaty requirement. All right, those uh, four Corvettes. Okay, I told you to move to Northern Europe. Prime Minister's returned from a state visit to Austria-Hungary, bring home a proposal to solve outstanding sources of tension between our nations. What is your response? We should take this opportunity to promote better understanding between us. I got to do it. I can't let them... We've made unexpected advances in turrets and gun mounting, mechanical shell handling. That's good. Still baffled by quality steel for shells. All right. Reduced tension a little. That's good. We're uh, 1910. I don't know if we're going to get all the way there. Prime Minister has made an ill-considered statement about Great Britain. What is your response? Try to explain that the quote was taken out of context. You will not comment or agree wholeheartedly. I will 
I'll pay a prestige on this one because Britain is our ally. We need to light cruiser armor. Okay, that's better. Submarines are better. Lighter than air. Improved three inch guns. We don't have a lot of three inch guns on anything. Some destroyers. Which I don't think it's really worth upgrading. USA is opposed. Uh, yes, let us agree to five year security agreement. Nice. All right. We now got USA and Britain on our side. I think we can go a long, a long way, although that did cost us some money. <laughs> Look at our budget, it's getting killed. All right. Can we go seven months? We can. We can go seven months. So those light cruisers will get done. All right, and the economy is recovered. That should help as well. British government wants to sell us seven-inch guns. I don't. I don't really use seven-inch guns that much, so we won't take those. Improved weight savings. Internal upheaval in Morocco. That's got nothing to do with us. Prime Minister floats the idea of a shooting competition. I like that idea. Let's see who wins. Oh, the San Leonardo. Okay, nice. We've now mastered Torpedo Protection 2. That's good. That's going to help us with when we are allowed to build big ships. We're going to be able to build nice ones. The problem is we're just not going to have the money to do it, which is really actual Spain, pretty much. All right, we got one of the cruisers commissioned the second one's commissioned we will buy improved hoists from the british we're about to make a plotting table hawk party f gets additional funding colonial crisis with france has arisen you are asked for recommendations what is your advice safeguard our interest nope it would be best to avoid war yeah uh, where's France? We can take that. Which, this one's still going to... Uh, this one increases the budget and decreases my prestige. I'll pay the price. But that's going to be it. I don't think I, I remember 16 is as far as we can pay. Got small two boilers. The gist of my speech to the Navy League should be sea should be kept peaceful and the prosperity of all nations. Ah, better 14-inch guns. Uh-oh. If you prestige, there it is, prestige sinks any further, you will risk being replaced. All right, so we got to watch that. Can't do any more of those. Uh, those were... Is that 14 inch, better 14 inch guns or 13 inch guns? Oh, it's better 14 inch guns. We haven't built, we we're building ships with 14 inch guns. But they got deleted by that treaty. Spy from Germany, handle it quietly and discreetly. We don't need more trouble. Liberal government wants to reduce arms expect expenditures. This will spell doom. We can live with this as long as our foreign policy is tempered and responsible. All right. <laughs> Proved 8-inch guns. Now that we can... That we can do something about. Let's better eight. Let's see. well. Let's see what they are right now. Five thousand yards, seven point four max range, twelve thousand eight. Got the weight. 
almost a half inch of armor penetration and up to 13,900. So yeah, that's well worth doing. Proof secondaries as well. Oh, our six inch guns are better. Oh yeah, well definitely that's worth it. Yep, we'll upgrade both of those ships. <clears throat> Boosted our industrial capacity a little. British government wants to sell us quality control for armor. Yes, we need all that. Double torpedo mounts. Very nice. Okay. That means it's time to design a new destroyer. Cramp though. Okay, so we can't get not enough to get an additional set, but we went from three to four and we went up to 30 knot, 32 knots. I think that's a good design. Yes, yeah, so let's overwrite the Pluton. You're asked which nation are most likely to face in a future war. <sighs> Can't afford to do this one. We must be prepared to fight a war against anyone. All right. Torpedo protection too. Nice. Plutons are ready. Let's build four of those. And let's delete four of our 600 tons. There's some obsolete ones. Docks are complete. Better submarines. Quality one five inch guns. We don't have that many five inch. All right, all of our ships were commissioned in, so we should have a good bump. Let's see if we can. got better 8-inch guns. They got the better 6-inch guns. Let's go ahead and rebuild those. And at the same time, let's see... what we can do with these Velasco's. Uh, yeah, this is, you know what? I don't think it's worth it to do. Because they're only 21 knots. I think we're better off, <clears throat> if anything, building more of those faster. Well, let's open. That was the Aragon, I think. Now, what was it? Okay. It was the Pedro the Aragon.
select another name. We could just get Torpedo Protection 2. Pedro to Aragon 2. I think it's better to build faster, faster ones than a new hawkish government wants to raise. A strong navy is a guarantee of peace, but must be careful of diplomacy. I can't afford to drop any more. Prove four-inch guns. Oh, now we're pissing off the Austrians again. Well, we made it to 1912, and I think that's a good place to stop for the day. Oof. That was a pretty interesting run. We started in 1905, so we got we finished our war with Austria, uh, gained a bunch of technology, and uh, we're, 1936 is where we're trying to go, so we're almost halfway there, still in. What's I think what's going to happen, my feeling is we're, by making these by making these decisions, we're gonna eventually go to war with somebody who's going who hasn't made these decisions and we're gonna get killed. Look at that. Our budget now is is lower than everybody else by far, even Italy. Um so we're just not even gonna be able to keep I guess an, uh the only thing we could consider is quality over quantity and get rid of all of our crap stuff and just hope that the uh, battle generator gives us the chance to, to build, you know, to, to select the good ships. I guess that's our only way forward when uh, the treaty expires in another 88 months. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is LHI Magic. We'll be back uh, next Monday for Rule of the Waves and probably some stuff between now and then uh, looking at adding a couple other things to the stream. So thanks for watching. Weasel Boy, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.